It's Hood Rich Radio. It's the voice of DJ Scream on your airways. Moran, what's up? We got a special, special guest up in the building. He goes mm-hmm. by the name of Lil Meech BMF. He is yeah, here. He is here. He is what up, here. what up, what up, bro? Welcome what's to Hood Rich Radio. What's up with you, bro? What's cracking? What's the word? What's going on with you? Now, let's 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 start with you just letting everybody know what's going on with you. We have several questions for you, but what, what what's, what's Lil Meech been up to? Man, right now, so right now, six months into it, I've just been working, man. It's been in the studio nonstop. You know, I just dropped my first video, Bad Habits, um, about two weeks ago. I was just dro- I'm about to drop another one within a couple of days, and I'm just gonna keep keep dropping videos until I drop my project. You okay. Know, just grab everybody's attention, let everybody know I'm rapping. So you've been on the hardcore music grind, and how long have you been actually making music? Six months. Six months. Okay, so you're saying you just started making music six months. You didn't just start going hard for it. You just I just started. Just, just and what started. made you decide to get in the booth? Well. I just, I always had the, you know, heart for music. I really wanted to make beats at first. And and really before I could really get into making beats, I just started, I just was like, man, I might as well rap. Right. Mm-hmm. Forget that. So I'm just make, so I'm just make music for real. So mm-hmm. as I was, you know, just was been working for us. I thought, I thought I really decided I wanted to rap. I just been at it nonstop. Just going hard. Okay. You mm-hmm. know. And what how, you, how you get your juices going in the studio, man? Man, I just... Every day I'll be in the studio for real, so I just go in there, you know, just with a open open mind. I'm just working. I ain't even like, ain't even nothing but just getting me juiced. I'm just thinking about all the type of stuff. I got so much to talk about, so I'm just going in, just going. I ain't even, you know. Gotcha. Yeah. And that's what I was going to ask. What are some of the topics, like, what, what are you rapping about? I'm rapping about my dad. I'm rapping mm-hmm. about my life. I'm rapping about what I'm going through, what mm-hmm. what I see, what what I know. You know what I seen, all all type of stuff. Just mm-hmm. everyday, everyday life. Not just specific topics. I might, you know, go specific topics sometimes, and when I really want to. But really, just a freestyle type of talk about everything. Mm-hmm. So when you get on the line with your pop, with, with your dad, how often do you get to talk to him about like, yo, dad? You know, the streets is different out here now. Like, kind of, yeah. it's different. You know, they going. Instagram and tell them themselves <laughs> like do y'all get to have these conversations about how things have changed? Yeah, we talk we talk every day. So we you know, he's familiar with Instagram now and, and I'm telling him, you know, I'm keeping him in you know form what's going on and a lot of other people are you know, that talk to him too, letting yeah. him know what's going on. So he getting interactions from, from the world still, from all different type of people. So everybody telling him what's going on and and from every all different types of perspectives. So he really know like how times have changed and how everything is different now, like it definitely ain't how back then when they was running around, like mm-hmm. it just ain't nothing like that. It's, it's weird now. So they think it's, you know, he just new to everything, even like the phones and stuff, like mm-hmm. they just new to everything. So yeah. I still let him know, you know, what's going on and, and you know, every everyday stuff, but he just, he just, you know, it just, yeah. Mm-hmm. Understood. Mm-hmm. Is it hard yeah. for you to encounter genuine people, seeing how we know who your pops is? I mean, I'm you know I'm all I'm cool with everybody. Like mm-hmm. I, I I'm I know who genuine. I know who not. And my circle small is always gonna be small. So mm-hmm. people, I just I never really you know I don't have no problem with nobody. Mm-hmm. So I'm 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 I ain't even the type. You know, Understood. Yeah, like that. So I, I'm you know I'm I ain't. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. There it is. <laughs> we know you're good. <laughs> you're good. You're good. A uh, lot of conversations that talks about a BMF movie. Is there a official BMF movie coming? TV series, yeah. TV series. And that's coming. executive produced by 50. By 50 and Randall Emmett, yep. Okay. So it's coming. It's it's in the, right now, it's still in the making, like, you know, as far as writing and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. it's still writing and trying to get it perfect. And, but we'll be filming soon. And, It'll be on the TV soon for sure. Mm-hmm. Will you okay. be making a cameo? Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There so. it is. Absolutely. So, what's some of the goals you want to accomplish in the music game with your music? Well, you know, I just want to just see how you know, really just excel as far as I can, and, and just you know, make make good music and mm-hmm. show people like I want to do everything. I want to act. I want to rap. I want to you know just show everybody that. It's anybody can do anything for real. And mm. I want to do a lot with when, when with my platform, you know, as far as showing other kids like like that had to grow up like me without a father in prison and stuff like that. Just mm-hmm. you know, showing them like I want to do my own stuff like nonprofit organizations and showing 
kids like me that mm-hmm. people locked up, that it's just you can do what you want to do and, you know, give them hope. So it's just it's a lot I want to do with, you know, with rapping. This is just not just for us rapping, just making music. It's so you would, you would say your success would come from actually inspiring and making a change, not necessarily – you would like gold and platinum plaques, but – Right. Making a change would yeah, be your success story. Yeah, that's cool, but you know, that's what I, I, I want to make a, you know, really a mark, you know, so so people like, it ain't just ain't, ain't just a game, like just what I'm just trying to just rap just because mm-hmm. I'm rapping for a purpose. And yeah, see. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Absolutely. Yeah. What do you do to kick it? For well, fun. <laughs> so, a date when you just want to. Just vibe, man. man. What I'm you be on, bro? I'm just chilling. Just chilling? Yeah, I'm not. No 2K? I um, mean, yeah, I used to play games when I was in high school. When I graduated, I ain't really been playing no games. So. Mm. Yeah. I've just been chilling, for real. Do you have other business ventures outside of music that you got going on? Like, maybe some, I don't know, real estate or? No, nah, I'm just, you know, I did. I tried college for a couple months. Mm. You said <laughs> a couple you, months. <laughs> where'd you go? For real. I tried. I, I went to um, Vegas. I went to um UNLV. Oh, UNLV? Wow. Okay. Las Vegas. So yeah. tell us a little bit about that experience, the pros and the cons, and why only two months? Man, college is, is, is fun. It's cool. Like, it's, ain't nothing wrong with college. It's just, it wasn't for me. Mm. I just, like, I could do the work, and I could really, I just, when I put my mind to something and I don't want to do nothing, I'm only going to do what I want to do and, and mm. put my mind to. So college is definitely good, you know, but I just, I felt like I could go back and do that if I really wanted to do it, but I had a purpose of something else. So mm. when I when I wanted to rap, I wouldn't think about college no more. Mm. And I I've been you know I got accepted to college when I was in high school, and I was just thinking about you know if I wanted to rap or make beats. So mm-hmm. Really, I was wanting to make beats, so I was going to college for engineering. You know, trying to work the keyboard and stuff. So right after I decided to rap, I wasn't thinking about it. No more. Now, in this six-month span, how many artists have you already collaborated with and who are some of the people you might be collaborating with in the future? I collaborate with a lot of artists right now. It's just, you know, I got a lot of stuff coming out. and But as far as some right now, I, 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 did, I got a song with Key Glock. I got a song with Hubris Pablo, mm-hmm. Z Money, Sandy Gucci, J mm-hmm. Fizzle, Sandy Dolph. Um, I got a song with couple other artists too you know how does latest record with you and uh playboy cardi come together it's going good but it's not really a record with me and playboy cardi that's my video so he just pulled up oh he just pulled up just pulled all right up. cool got some cameos Where? yeah we definitely got some stuff on the way though no okay all right and what what would you say to some of the younger people out there on the come up trying to do music or trying to just get be involved in the culture like how would you steer somebody in the right direction what would you tell them well i'll just you know just say Work is like you know. Work, do what you want to do. Like if you really put your mind to something, just do do that. And, like don't let anybody else distract you from what you really want to do. Cause once you want to do something, and you let somebody else tell you something differently, you just gonna be distracted and not and just go off track. So mm-hmm. just focus on whatever you want to do. You could do it. Don't just do something cause somebody else. You know, do do what you want to do basically, mm-hmm. and yeah, just man. stay focused. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Have a goal and have a focus. Definitely, right. definitely. All right, so talk to us about, you brought us some music, right? Talk to us about your uh, your new record that you're pushing a little bit. What's the name of it? Yeah, it's called Bad Habits. Bad um, Habits? Yeah. You know, I, got, I got my dad talking on the beginning of it. Okay. You know, just putting down some street jewels. And, mm-hmm. and it's just my first record, but more to come. So mm-hmm. it's just a, really just an open introduction. It's an appetizer. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, we're going get to get, get into that in a few is there an estimated touchdown date for Big Meech? <laughs> is there any conversations? Is there any? You know, that's what everyone wants. Right. So everyone wants to know. All right now it isn't a you know a specific date. Yep. But definitely he and Tom cut off his sentence, so okay. he's definitely not doing the whole thirty years. He's okay. Definitely and he's home. been in since tw- two thousand six, so that's so yeah twelve or thirteen. Yeah, right? for sure. Okay. All right, that's positive news. That's positive yeah. news, man. We appreciate you pulling up the Hood Rich Radio. You're welcome anytime. Introduce know. your song right now and give everybody your Instagram so they can holler at you. Instagram, Lil Meach BMF. Song called Bad Habits. It's on all platforms. Okay, that's what it is. Hood Rich Radio 96.7 to be. Salute. It's Bad Habits.